The Committee for Employment and Learning has now completed its inquiry into careers education, information, advice and guidance in Northern Ireland. I caught up with Committee Chairperson Robin Swan to find out why the Committee undertook the inquiry. The Committee was really concerned about the gap in provision that was out there and also the inconsistency in careers advice that was out there right across Northern Ireland and even in the same towns some schools were given really different and mismatched careers advice so we wanted to tie down that there was a formal process that was used across all schools and colleges. During its inquiry the committee gathered evidence from a wide range of organisations and young people. The main findings, I suppose the main concerns that were raised through our evidence sessions and we had quite a number of those was that while there are some schools and colleges and teachers providing excellent career advice, there are others out there who aren't. And that's our main concern because what the committee really wanted to do was ensure that the students who were in our education system at the moment were leaving with the appropriate skills that were able to take them into professions and into jobs in the future. Also that our careers teachers didn't have formal qualifications in some instances, which was a real concern and actually a surprise to some of our committee members and something that we thought needed to be addressed. In its evidence sessions, the committee heard about the importance of effectively promoting ICT and the STEM subjects. The committee's just returned from the European Employment Forum, where we heard that in approximately 10 years' time, 90% of jobs will require a minimum ICT qualification. And unless we can get that into our careers curriculum now, that careers teachers are actually putting, pointing students in that direction, you know, Northern Ireland's going to be lagging behind. The committee's report has outlined important recommendations for the Department for Employment and Learning and the Department of Education to take forward. The main recommendations that we are making is that the careers becomes a formal taught subject in schools, that the careers teachers actually hold a formal qualification in careers that the subject they are teaching, so we provide that sound information for the young people and also that there's a better tie-up between schools and colleges and industry to ensure that the skills that our young people are gaining in the education system actually match up with those that are required by industry to provide them with a profession and with jobs and with skills. More information on the committee's report and its work can be found on the Northern Ireland Assembly website.